Gentlemen, this is Squirrely Nuts, your host. Now today I'm bringing you what I've wanted to do for a while. My baby's review. Scar H. Now, but, but before I start this review, I should inform you. I'm scarred for life. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh. Oh. Man, that was a pretty good one. Now, what you're watching right now is a rush attack gameplay on Aftermath map Marquez Monolith. I do fairly well. I know I get over 50 kills, but I'm only showing the later half of the game because the beginning was boring. I just kind of died a bunch. But this gameplay does show off the strengths of the Scar and actually a lot of the weaknesses as well because I tend to throw myself into engagements I really shouldn't with this weapon, even though it is my favorite because um, I have one over 1,100 kills with it. It is my most used weapon in Battlefield 3 for good reason because uh, if you didn't know the scar h is, do is the highest damage carbine in the game it deals 30 damage maximum up close which is five more than any other carbine and it only drops off to 20 so it's one of two five hit N no it's the only five hit carbine in the game because the acr does drop off to six hits but it's dealing its max damage of 30 at 8 meters, which that's typical for Battlefield. It's really short, but it's to keep it from being too powerful. But it also does it reaches its minimum damage a little bit later than all other weapons. Damage until 60 meters. Most weapons, the minimum damage is at about uh, 50, normally, except for snipers, and I think some L LMGs drop offs are different. I don't know the reload times and swap speeds and stuff, so I'm just going to get onto the preferred class. Right here, what you're seeing is what I run on the SCAR exclusively. I don't touch anything else. Any other attachment, just... I mean, you can change on an optic of your choice, but these other attachments, I think, are mandatory. Well, the splash suppressor is the only mandatory attachment. But do not use the foregrip. It kills your... Aim down sights accuracy, which is really the only thing the SCAR has in the first place, is it's fairly accurate when aim down sights, and it has longer range than most other carbines. But its hip fire is awful. It's not really worth hip firing most of the time. And I use the bipod just to help set up and get some longer range shots, because the SCAR does have a ton of recoil, which is why I use the flash suppressor. And to help counter that, it really helps a ton. People recommend Heavy Barrel for extra range and damage over range, but I don't like it because it adds so much more recoil to the Scar's already, like, retardedly huge recoil profile. And what do you... <laughs> I mean, I guess if you're masochistic and you enjoy not killing anyone, you can use the Heavy Barrel. Alright, now I'm going to get into the other aspects of the class. During this gameplay, I'm using the silenced uh, M9, because I'm just trying to get service stars with every weapon in the game. I'm done with every single primary weapon, but now i got to do the stupid friggin' low damage pistols, the M9 and the MP MP443 and the G17. Those are really annoying, and it's the only reason I'm using it, because I just want any time I get a chance. Secondary is one that will help you up close. Which is one of the SCAR's main weaknesses, because it only shoots at 600 rounds per minute. Which is... I actually think it is the slowest firing carbine. It's not the slowest firing weapon. That award goes to the M60. But it is the slowest firing carbine. So you're going to want to bring the close range secondary. The one I would recommend is the 93R. Because it has superior range and like one extra bullet than the G18. But the G18 suppressed also works really well because it can keep you off the radar when you have to get up close, and then maybe you can post up at about medium range again. Now, um, the specialization I recommend running, since this is an engineer weapon, I recommend using the explosives spe specialization. Now, normally when you're in a squad, there's at least one person running explosives, so you shouldn't worry about it unless you're medics or something, and you need those extra RPGs to help you out. 
uh, and now I'm going to get into the basic play style of how you should use the Scar. It, the Scar excels at medium range. Because of its higher damage, it holds its damage longer as well. It is a 4 hit kill, much longer than mo many other weapons, which really helps it out so that you can uh, shred people at medium range. Well, the problem is if you start getting suppressed with the Scar, you're going to be hitting air. Like, if, if you're supposed to be hitting air to win the game or get points, you'd be number one while you're suppressed. But when you're not suppressed, it's you just need to remember to pop fire when you're not bipodded because it climbs if you're going fully automatic, medium to long ranges. You can maybe, maybe get by at medium range fully automatic if you're pulling down on the stick the whole time, or mouse if you're on PC. It's gonna hurt you. Uh, and it, also, another weakness of the scar is it's 20 round magazine. That's a lot, that's a big reason of, for why people don't use it, is because they want the extra bullets. Which I can understand, but I personally just... I don't care. I pr I like the extra damage. It really helps out in a hardcore where it's a two-shot kill because hardcore your health is at 60 and this does 30 damage up close. So it can actually be used quite effectively in close range. <laughs> Alright, so that would be the end of it. Now, this review is kind of biased because it's my favorite weapon, so I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. But I do see its weaknesses and it definitely if you're playing on somewhere like metro don't use this or close quarters you're far better off with something else but when you're playing on a rush map like this weapon works really well on the aftermath maps and the carcand maps because a lot of them have medium to long ranges of sight which will help you pick people off all right that's the end of the review now i'm just going to talk about some stuff about the channel as you can tell this is my first battlefield video and hopefully I worked out the kinks of my uh, cap loaded in the right format, and there aren't the stupid black bars on the side, because I'd rather them be white bars. Sorry, that was racist. Anyways, uh, what I want to uh, come start doing is a Minecraft series with my friend. I have. Or I'll either do one by myself and with my friend, or just have some special stuff with my friend. But there's a series that I want to do by myself that one person knows the title of. It's <laughs> it's going to be kind of funny, so hopefully it'll be good to enjoy. I won't make it like a stupidly long like 20 or 30 minute Let's Play. I'll break it up to the in interesting sections, because no one wants to watch you mine for... I don't know, 20, 30 minutes. I'll try and keep it entertaining. And just keep going. Maybe do it live a couple times or just do commentary over it. Because Minecraft's a lot more peaceful than just watching me shoot some newbies in the face the whole time. Uh, I'm also going to be doing Halo. I was playing that today. It was pretty fun. And my friends made a custom map that I definitely want to show off and put in my file share so that if anybody wants it they could get it it's a really funny map and i'm not going to tell you what it is now or show or put it in my file share yet if anybody were to find me on xbox and friend me but <coughs> i'm definitely gonna record that and us playing on it because it's a lot of fun and it's really weird like it's the weirdest map you'll ever see all right um